everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I am hoping that everyone is having a great weekend. I'm doing some fun colors today on a flower pop and I'm doing a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I have a display that I'm working on that needs three 10 by 20s fun colors. I've got two complete that I absolutely love. So we are going to try to get that third painting in. I am going to be working on um, doing a vine, I believe. I haven't decided yet. And I'm trying to recreate an old color palette. So we will see how it goes. They're kind of peacock colors. Um, I am going to start with, I think it's um, Artist Loft Violet Metallic Purple. Then we're gonna go with some Delta Ceramic Coat Metallic Green. After that, we're going to go with some Folk Art Blue Violet Flash. And then I have Purple Flash. It's a color shift. I think that's uh, Folk Art as well. Okay, so I'm going to start off by putting, today I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm going to start by putting my swipe color down first. This is the old, when I first started, this is how I used to do it. I used to lay that swipe. I actually have a little bit left here. So we're gonna put the swipe color down first. Use that leftover. Tip it up a bit. Okay, okay. All right. Then we're gonna start. There we go. Okay, move it up just a tad. There we go. Doing some thick lines. Okay, and we're going to do this one right in the center of it. And I usually put this in a bottle and I should have and didn't. So shame on me. And we're gonna go this way, this way, and this way. I think I want a little bit here. Maybe down here too. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is tip it. I wasted a lot of paint, I know. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use the spatula to spread it out a little bit. I have way too much paint on this canvas. I um, did clean up originally, and I was able to pour some of that into um, a cup. Um, whenever you're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, expand that swipe line at the top, you just follow the very edge, and it pushes the color a little bit further away from the white. I'm wanting to bring more white into this than I actually did. Um, this is Blick White that I'm using. I've dampened my paper towel, laying it in there, and uh, I typically do a, a fast, steady swipe, but I decided to keep it real low and go a little bit slower, hoping to keep that white on this canvas, which because I had so much paint, it did not, it didn't work that way. Okay, so I can already tell this background is nothing like the other one that I did, um, but it is very cool, very different colors. So I'm gonna keep it and we're going to play around with um, what I've got. So right now you can tell that it's kind of going this way. So do you wanna do a flower the opposite? Um, I've got to figure out what is the composition that I want to do here. And sorry, I'm adjusting. I love this up here. It's like I don't want to disturb it. The problem is I always do flowers this way. So what should I do? Um, I don't want to keep this, but I want to keep that. Hmm. So I guess we're going to have to do a flower at the top. It's not the game plan. I originally hadn't wanted to do that. Um, 
So what do we want to do? Let's do one cluster at the top. We're going to start here because I do not like that little area. And of course, Puffy's not in here. Let me grab him. Okay, it was over in my bloom room. My Puffy travels with me. Um, okay, maybe, maybe I'm going to do this one. Beautiful. Okay. All right, now, go in between. I don't know, I like that right there. I don't know if I wanna mess. There we go, beautiful. Instead of doing it corners, I think I'm gonna do a vine, a straighter vine. Let's do that, something a little different. Okay, then we're gonna start here and here. I'm gonna picture where our vine is gonna be. Okay, not a lot of color like I thought it would be, but that's okay. We'll add some of this green as we go. No worries. Um, hmm. So if I do, maybe I'll do a stem here and a stem here and leave that. Let's do that. All right, let's go here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's think a minute. Let's go here and here. Okay, we're gonna go out. And the stem will have to be redone because it sank. Just no problem. I just need a, a guide at the moment. Okay, so as you can see, this is looking pretty muted. And I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm adding a third flower and I almost hung it up. I almost scraped this and started over. Thank goodness I didn't. But boy, did I have to work for this one. So many of these colors were metallic. They kept sinking, they kept fading. The white is almost totally gone. I just had to fiddle faddle with this for so, so long. Um, and I just keep adding more green and the greens keep sinking. There's a few things that I did wrong. I left way too much paint on the canvas. I used three metallic paints, I believe, which are heavy. And so they were fighting who's going to be the showstopper, who's going to stay on top. And they just um, they just kind of clashed, or I don't want to say clash because the end result is gorgeous, but they just, they just were not distinct enough for me. I couldn't get the stem to hold, um, but that's what this is all about. I want to experiment. I want to be challenged, and I want to take something that thinks they're going to uh, sink and uh, make it beautiful. And that is why this is named Do Not Mute Me. I just love how this shouts at the end how beautiful it is. And I'm going to take you through the whole process. And I'm going to, I'm going to put some tunes on, let you watch. Just know with my Puffy 2000, I'm blowing down into the paint on this particular flower pop. I add a lot of things at the end, you will see, because it just doesn't want to hold the flowers. I cannot wait to share the end result. I will see you there. Drive the same roads every day. We both 
both get there our own way Thistle and an apple tree How different two souls can be But we both grow from the same sorrow If we both know we'll be together tomorrow I can be like a tree in the wind Same old roots but I can bend Turning to understand and sway together Okay guys, we literally do this for an hour. I play with these flowers. I am not kidding you. What a chore, but how amazing to get final results the way that it actually turned out. Lesson learned, I think I won't combine so many metallics. Um, I think I watered my paints a little bit too much. Um, more Floetrol and water to paint. I did not measure, I just eyed it, which I typically do okay when I do that, but I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go down for a close up here very shortly, and I'm gonna take you down to see all the intricate details in this um, beautiful flower pop. It ends up turning out very, very um, subtle. Um, it, it's kind of muted, but please do not mute me. That is the name of this painting. See you there. Okay, let's go down for that close up. I really like that I added a lot more green to um, the stems. It was a chore to get it to hold. I waited about 30 minutes and tried to add a little bit more. And of course I did add a little white into that corner. There isn't a lot of white in the top of the painting, but there is when you get up close, you can see some lacing kind of all over, not in any pattern, but there is a little bit of white here and there. Okay, I am gonna show you the final varnished results. I will see you there. Okay, here we go. Look at the cells, and it is busy, but it's just so beautiful. It's, it is muted. That's why Don't Mute Me is the name of this beautiful painting. I hope that you enjoyed this flower pop, and I thank everyone for being here, and I cannot wait to show you the next one. Take care. Till next time.